Hey guys and welcome back to another Warframe 2024 playthrough episode. Now apologies in advance, my voice is going, as you can probably tell. Um, for those of you who caught my video on Friday, you will know that we are now in a position where we have another idol on build to kind of aim for. So, alongside doing all the stuff we've already been doing this, uh, this series in terms of farming platinum, opening relics, all that good stuff, we are also going to be trying to aim for that build, which is going to take us a while, I've got to say. We're going to need to, to do some serious grinding to get that far in, um, which, demoralizing as it is, we will do. We will endeavor to achieve. So yeah, basically, we need to get access to a few things. First things first, we need to drop down to Sanctum Anatomica. Let's just do that. And we need to get to rank 5 with Lloyd um, because basically we want to be gathering up as many Archon Shards as we possibly can and if we can get to Deep Archimedia then we can be doing that a lot faster. We should be prioritizing that anyway to be honest. Um, but yeah also we're going to need to get access to the Archon Shard segment for the Helminth so we can fuse them to make our Violet Shards. Uh, that's going to be very useful to our build. And yeah, basically we're just going to need to start gathering up all the other random gear that we're going to need. Maxing out more mods, probably trying to get our hands on another Umbral Former, however we uh, however we do that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a grind, guys. But yeah, that's what we're doing this episode. So we're going to be basically trying to do all of the bounties. You can see I've never even spoken to Lloyd yet. We're still rank zero with, with these guys because previously it just hasn't been a priority. So we're going to be doing all of this. We are going to be doing more relic opening, we are going to be doing more Eidolon hunting, and that is basically going to be our week. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Alright guys, so the way that I like to do this usually, in terms of farming standing with these guys, is I'll usually do whatever bounty has the survival mission on, on Steel Path. Um, you get more standing that way, and also it gives you time to kind of go around and look out for, like, the Vokers. Uh, which you need to rank up. Um, so that's basically what we're doing here. I'm just trying to get 150 kills quickly. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the mission just running around the map looking for, yeah, Vokers. Uh, and that's that's basically it. Uh, and you do that on repeat. <laughs> if you happen to get it kind of on the lower two, as in the survival mission on the lower two uh, bounty missions, which provide a bit less standing, then, you know, maybe it's not so, not so good. But for the most part, yeah, I find this... One of the better ways to do it. Alright guys, so I think, oopsie, once we've done this particular bounty, which uh, is an exterminate, it was kind of the best one available at the time, I think we'll have enough to buy ourselves the Archon Shard, or Archon Fusion segment, so we can get ourselves some Violets, obviously once we have them. Uh, but yeah, we're still a, a ways off being able to get access to Deep Archimedia. Destroying 60 decorations appears extremely easy. I feel like I do it in the first two seconds of the mission. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll get out of here. We'll buy that. Get it crafting. We should have all the stuff we need for it. Okay, so if we go to bird three, yeah, uh, coalescent segment, there we go, let's get that, get that building straight away. Nice. That 
will be ready soon enough. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting all of our standing for today. And then we'll move on to probably gathering up some platinum, I guess. Alright, so the coalescent segment is now ready. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So now what we can do is we can combine shards to make Tau Forged shards, and we can also create purple or violets, oranges or topaz and greens, emerald, uh, out of uh, the existing shards that we have. So we don't actually have too many at the moment, uh, but we should be able to make one uh, Tau Forged purple. So maybe let's go ahead and do that. Let me just get my vault on real quick. Don't know why I'm running Titania right now. I can't actually remember. It's probably opening more relics. Uh, vault Eidolon, there we go. So, we go here, and then let's do Ascent Fusion, and we'll go with Crimson. We have just enough, although we're probably not going to have enough to actually get a Violet, are we? We're going to need 50, but I do have to get some standing today for... Uh, what is it? For Lloyd. Uh, so yeah, we're going to need... 50. I think we should be able to get that. So what I'll do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up 50... Get up? <laughs> gather up 50 um, Stella. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make our first Violet Shard and put that on our vault. Alright guys, so I was just about to try and do my first 6x3, but something is so, so wrong with the, the clock on the planes. Like, it says it's night in one minute right now, but I've been going, like, in and out constantly for a bit, and it won't drop, like, below two minutes tonight. I don't understand what's going on. So I'm just going to try and load in again here. This could be just a bug right now. Like, how long does it say? Night in a minute now. I think it's technically already night. Like, I'm going to get in at some point and it's going to be like three minutes in and we're not going to be able to do it. Okay. We'll roll with that. We've lost a minute. Might be a bit tricky to pull back, but yeah. Alright, so we already messed this up because my uncle crewmate did not have Tenet Cycron equipped and so couldn't collect the Vonvalists underneath the Eidolon even though I thought he could. <laughs> So now we don't have uh, any charged lures. Uh, it's probably going to be a while before... Oh my god, we got it already. That's nice. Yeah, it was at least a minute lost right there, so probably off the cards, but we'll see. Alright, so now definitely not a 6x3. I was just standing here and... This lure is on hold. It's gone from here to over there whilst on hold. I I, I just don't even understand how. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of bugs happening at the moment, actually, which I'm not overly happy with, I must admit. Yeah, the tree spawning bug still hasn't been fixed either. So, like, when the Eidolon spawns at that lake location, it... Uh, it doesn't spawn the Vonvalis underneath it, or any Vonvalis underneath it, actually. It spawns them in a tree nearby, which is really annoying. But, you know, whatever. Alright, so, so far, I have had one last limb at 7.11, one last limb at, like, 7.40, and one last limb at 7.57, and yet, somehow, we might still be able to pull this off. At least if the next few runs are any good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, and another blunder by me there. No voms. Oh dear. Yeah, probably not going to be a 6x3, but still a 5x3 easily nonetheless. Yeah, alright, I think I messed up way too many times. 14 minutes there on this second to last Hydra list. Definitely not enough, so we'll stop after the next one. Try again in the next night cycle we do. I think I need to get a bit more health on Operator, so I should probably be focusing on unbinding Vazarin next, I guess, and also Nairu for the armor. 
Because, yeah, my operator's dying quite a lot to the Hydra to Lightning Strike, so then obviously I have to just keep resetting. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's causing some delays, for sure. And I also need to get this other stance for Vastalog. But other than that, <laughs> I think, yeah, we'll get there eventually. It's going to be a while. Well, not a while, but we'll do it soon. Alright guys, so I just finished up uh, gathering up the stella we need for our first Violet Tau Forge shard. Uh, so let's go ahead and put our Vault Eidolon back on. We'll head over here. And then let's go ahead and... Let's coalescent we want, so... Tau Forge Crimson. Tau Forge Asia. Confirm. And there we go. Let's put this one on here. Um, primary electric damage. That's what we want. Hooray! Okay, so. Yeah, it's starting to come together now. I might, for the time being, go ahead and put a Tau Forged... In fact, I might put on two of these for now. Because obviously this does work off of... Or Violets do work off of Asia as well. So, yeah. So, per Crimson, Asia, or Violet. So let's go ahead and actually throw both of these on, or one um, one tower forged and one not tower forged. I'm going to do them both on armor, I think. I think that's kind of where we're suffering right now, is survivability. So now we should get an extra, well, we should get an extra 60% electric damage just from having these four on. Plus 45%, so we should get an extra 105% from that. So the next night cycle isn't for another 50 minutes or so. In between that time, I'll probably go ahead and just open up some relics. I don't think there's much else to be doing. I am running out of time for this episode, unfortunately. I know I haven't really been able to get much done this week. But yeah, it's just been it's just been one of those, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, let's see uh, if we can do the 6x3. I have also bought um, Bullet Dance now. So yeah, we're back down to 28 Platinum. Happy days. Uh, and this is what we're going to be running. So... I'm going to probably need to reform this once we have, well actually, once we have another Umbral Former, I'll stick that on. I'm not going to be using Continuity, we'll swap over to the build that we've been using on our, or on my main account. So utilising all three Umbral mods and then Blind Rage, and then I think we'll, uh, we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's see how the next hunt pans out. So in terms of obviously what we're gathering Platinum for, I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. It is literally just for slots right now. Like there is basically nothing else that we need. Unfortunately, this particular mission is about to expire. Should have made the most of it, because yeah, this is Hepit on Void, which we can actually get relics from doing. So we can open relics and farm relics at the same time, which is quite nice. Um, but I'm not selling off any parts that I, you know, don't already own. So I'm only selling duplicates. Which, you know, is quite drastically stunting our platinum income. But we are going to need all of these prime parts at some point. So, you know, to save us time and potentially platinum, it's worth just holding on to at least one of each or two of each in cases like... Um, what is it? A Furious Prime and stuff like that where we're going to need multiple of the same part. Yeah, it's just good to make sure you have everything you need, basically. Not too bad, not too bad. Although, yeah, it's going to be uh, a non-duplicate, so we're holding on to it. Alright, so this is our second attempt at our 6x3 on this account. Um, we should be able to get it this time. We've done a bit more investment. I think it should go a lot smoother. If this does go well, then I'll probably just upload this whole run to YouTube at some point this week, so you guys can see it if you want. Our first 6x3 on this account. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, in addition to the two Crimson Archon Shards we had on the previous run, we've now got a Tau Forged Violet, a Tau Forged Asia, and another Asia Shard on here, so we've got a lot more electric damage. This is what we're running on our Vault, Nullifier and Momentum, two Umbral Mods right here with an Umbral Former on. On our Rubico, this is what we've got, Charge Chamber, I will swap out for Hammer Point at some point, or Hammer Shot, sorry, not Hammer Point. Um, just because, yeah, first shot in the magazine for Rubico at least isn't overly helpful. Um, Tenet Cycron, which we're going to use to gather up Vonvalis from underneath. We'll use the Rubico for the headshot kills at this point. Eventually we'll get ourselves the Vermis Splicer or the Nell Prime. Vastalock, rank 1 Shattering Impact, just so that we don't, uh, 
overstrip by accident. I've also got bullet dance now. I bought that, so that should make life a bit easier for us. And then Madurai, we now have actually two unbound. The last hunt we did, we didn't have any unbound uh, way nodes on here. Way bound nodes. <laughs> unbound. Uh, but we now have void flow and void siphon, so we got a bit more operator energy. Shouldn't really affect it all that much, to be honest. Um, what I would say, like, the, the ones that will affect it are going to be the Vazarin ones, I guess. Yeah, so like Enduring Tides is super, super, super useful for this. Um, so that's one we're going to be aiming for next, although we still actually have to unlock Vazarin. Um, but anyway, enough uh, waffling on. Oh, actually, let me show you what we've got on our operator as well. That's probably worth, uh, worth showing. So yeah, we're running Magus Elevate. We've got Magus Savior on here just because we have just one lying about. Um, sorry, Emergent Savior. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably put... Why is that showing us rank zero there? Where is that even coming from? That's very confusing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Eternal Eradicate and Eternal Onslaught maxed out on our ramp as well, and then 177 as per. And that's basically all we need to know, guys. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. This is a good first run for us. 707. All right. Oh, we got four. I didn't realize they got an extra lure. Maybe slightly faster than the last one. It was a good Hydralist. 704. Oh, and we've travelled a hundred thousand meters or whatever that was. I don't even see what time that was. I think that was actually. I might. Hmm. <laughs> was that seven minutes? That was actually a very fast one. He came down or stopped coming down at about seven o nine. I think that could have been seven minutes. I should have checked. My bad. also a bit rough. Yeah, if this is an instant last limb, this would have been... This is seven minutes. Have this strange feeling of death, though. <laughs> Let's just try and hold off. Seven minutes! Very nice. So, yeah. One less blunder on that hydro. That would have been sub-seven. Cool. And yeah, 18 minutes today. This could be a nightcap. Our first 6x3 and it's going to be probably a nightcap. <laughs> Oof, 7 turn. We messed it up a bit. <laughs> Should have over 9 minutes. What? 11 minutes? That's, that's not right. Something is wrong there. Okay. Sounds like a 709, I think. Now, my timer right now is reading literally we have one minute left of night now. So this is easily a nightcap, but this is saying we have two minutes left, which I don't really get. So I might try and re-enter now and see what happens if we can get like a 6x3 plus one just because the timer's messed up. 24 seconds, that's probably not going to be enough. Especially if that happens. I should have killed him. Where are we at? It's going to be too late, isn't it? Three seconds. Well, yeah, he's going to despawn now, so... We tried. <laughs> but, yeah. I was, I, was, I was hoping we might get a bit more of a bugged clock than that, but... Never mind, eh? Our first 6x3, guys, so yeah, I'll upload this as a separate video. So for those of you watching that video, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, but for everyone else, yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on with the episode. All right, guys, so unfortunately we have run out of time now for this episode, but we have made big leaps this week. We've done our first 6x3 in incredible time, I might add, considering the level of the build we have. I'm very surprised we were able to do a nightcap, and yeah, there is something suspicious going on with the uh, the timer on the Plains of Eidolon. I haven't really been looking at any of the, the Eidolon hunting communities 
notes on it at the moment so maybe there's something i've missed but yeah a few bugs uh, a few bugs going around it seems but anyway i'll put up the uh the arcane tally um for the series so far since we started it at least um so as you can see quite a few in the green here although the ones in the red are some of the ones that we want <laughs> uh for example you know we want some energizers and some grace and also some furies um but rage for example you know 12.74 percent avenger 11 point oh sorry 14.29 percent i'm reading off the wrong column um yeah rage we've actually done very well at since we started this tally 23.81 percent we're up to so not too bad at all um and you guys can pause if you want to look at the rest of them but uh in terms of the actual in-game arcanes we have now so plus the ones before we started this tally you can see um, Nullifier is still the only one we have at rank 5. Uh, we've got Deflection up at rank 3 there. That's our only Silver at rank 3. Then we've got an Acceleration, Avenger up at rank 2. Uh, and yeah, everything else just kind of gradually working its way up. So hopefully after a few more, we'll uh, start to see some more of those get maxed out. That would be nice. Uh, and yeah, Nullifier. Actually, how many extra Nullifiers do we have? Just one. <laughs> I can dream. Um, but yeah, all in all, guys pretty good episode next episode uh is probably gonna be more of the same stuff unfortunately like i said it's just that point in the game we're just farming platinum solidly as well as trying to get our arcanes up so yeah that's basically all we're going to be doing but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one guys i'll see you later